Hello and welcome everybody to video number one where we are going to set up a local development environment. Now here's the outline for our first video. First of all we are going to look at the Spark website to find the most recent version that we are going to use in our project. And then we will also find information which SPT, Scala and uh, JDK version to use. And before we uh, then go ahead and create an IntelliJ project using the information we gathered and adding the dependencies to the Spark library. So first of all, I would like to show you the Spark website, which you can find at spark.apache.org. And on that website, you can find under the documentation tab, the latest release. And here you can see that the latest release is 3.5.0. Now on this page, you can find a lot of documentation about how to set up Spark. And we are particularly interested in one information here on that site, which you can find, find down below here. And it says Spark runs on Java 8, 11, and 17, and Scala 2.12 and 2.13. And we are going to use that in our IntelliJ project. Also, it says when using Spark, uh, when using Scala 2.13, we should use uh, Spark compiled for Scala version 2.13. And that's what we're going to do in our project as well. The next website I would like to show you is Maven repository, where you can find uh, library dependencies for your JVM based products. So here are hosted many, many pre-built jars for libraries that you can use in your project. Now here we can say we are looking for spark. So we would type org or oh, suggesting that already org.apache.spark. And if we search, we can see that there are many modules. Um, relating to Spark published on Maven repository. Now, if we go to Spark core, for example, that's one artifact, we can find the version that we're wanting, wanting to use, which is 3.5.0. And down on that detail side here, you can select the build tool that you're using and you will get the right format for the library uh, to include into your SBT project. Now that we know what we need, we can go ahead and create a new project. I will use IntelliJ for this uh, video workshop, but you, you're free to use any other IDE which you are most familiar with. So I just give it a name. Uh, let's call it Spark, Spark Video Course. And you can select the location. As a language, we are going to use Scala for the build system. We use SBT, which, is, which stands for a Scala Build Tool and which is the default for any uh, Scala based project. For the JDK, we are going to use um, JDK 17, which is the latest version of the JDK, which is supported to be used with Scala 3, uh, with Spark 3.5.0. And for SPT, we just choose the latest version, which is uh, simply the version of the build tool. And for Scala, here we have to watch out again. Here we need to select 2.13. And 2.13, the latest version, uh, minor version is 12. So we would, I would go with 2.13.12. And then we can also give it a package prefix, which is best practice to use a do domain name. And I'll call it, I would just use my domain and call it Spark Video, Video Course. All right, and we also let it create some sample code. All right, now my IDE has created this project for me. It has injected uh, many of the default structures of a Scala project. For example, we have a source folder containing a main Scala folder, uh, which also contains the default package name here, and also a test package where all the test code will go. Additionally, we have a build.spt file, which is the configuration for our build tool. So the final step to complete our setup is to add the Spark dependency to our Scala build tool. Now what we can do is use this line, uh, copy it and paste it down here. So we have included Spark core. And additionally, we would like to use Spark SQL. So I can go back to the Spark um, group ID and then select Spark SQL here. Select the same version 3.5.0 and also add this line 
to our project. So we could do it like this, or we could simply have one statement. So library dependencies is actually a value, value that's already defined by the build system. And we can also append it with a sequence of new uh, dependencies and have them passed in all at once. So I will move the uh, provided here for now. We'll understand later what it is. So now we are adding both dependencies at the same time. Another optimization would be, for example, to refactor this into a new value so that we don't, so that we only have to change one value here if we if we want to use a different spark version so then we have added two spark dependencies which is spark core and spark sql and both using the same spark version and another thing i wanted to uh, tell you about is you probably have um, noticed the two percentage signs here and in sbt this means that it will pick up this artifact for example spark core um, if we're using the two percentage signs, signs it will it will pick this um, jar up, built for the Scala version we are using in our project. In our case, it would be 2.13. So if we write this annotation here, we don't have to specify the Scala version explicitly. Otherwise, we would have to write something like that, so that we pick up the right version of this jar. Yeah, and that's basically it. So now I can hit um, Command, Shift, and I. So that um, SBT will re-import the project. And now it will go ahead and download these dependencies into our project such that we can use them later in our application.